Jena Weinberg Street. Film teams aren't allowed here very often. The Hillside House. A widow's dream come true, who had moved from Vienna to Jena in the 1920s. The house was called after her last name, the Sugar Candle House. Dr. Werner Schwarze. When he decided to buy the house of Therese Zuckerkandl, he wasn't even a Bauhaus fan. Schwarze found old drawings and letters in the cellar. That's when he began to deliberate. Although some of the Gropius designs were deteriorated, most was in surprisingly good condition. However, the question was how to handle this house. You don't have to do everything new in order to do something new. That's how we've approached this building and said, no, we don't want to bring ourselves and our creativity to it, but rather use our muse to restore the things the way they were, a space to live in. Drawers and closets that are more than just storage room. They're dividing the kitchen area from the saloon. And they join the both very gently but yet acceptable. Always fascinating to friends of the Schwarze family. We certainly didn't move in here to chasten ourselves, but to confront ourselves with the clarity of the rooms, the structural designs and get inspired by it. I can speak for me and my family that it is an interesting feeling and experience to live in these rooms. Gefühl ist und auch ein ganz interessantes Erlebnis ist, in solchen Gebäuden zu wohnen, in solchen Räumen zu wohnen. Finds of the time during construction. Therese Zuckerkandel writes to Gropius. While thanking you in my name and in the names of Dr. Langer and wife for your kind Christmas wishes, we sincerely wish you the same. Unfortunately, these don't comply with me at all. I can't possibly move into that unfinished home with all these workers around and I've suffered a terrible nervous breakdown from all these ongoing anger and strain. Gropius countered. I have to strictly oppose to your personal reasoning in your letter and find it very disconcerting that you would arrange. I would like to welcome you.